everyone. This is a three minute tutorial on how to manage your staff list in your talking points for schools account. We understand that at school staff turn over a lot, so you may want to be adding additional staff or if you're a school that's syncing with your student information system through Clever or Classlink, you may have staff like ELL teachers, support teachers, or special education teachers who are not being pulled into your account automatically. So now I'm going to show you how you can add, manage, and edit staff from your account. To do so, first of course you're going to click on the staff menu in your left hand navigation. In your staff menu, you'll have the entire list of all the staff members who are present in your account. In that list, you'll be able to see their first names and last names, their role if they've set it, and the email is tied to their account. You'll also see their status, which tells you whether they have not yet been invited or whether they've gone ahead and logged into Talking Points. If you are syncing with us through Clever or Classlink, these invites are completely optional. They will not have to be sent and your school administrators and teachers can log into Talking Points directly through Clever. But if you uploaded your data through a CSV or Excel upload, you will have to send these invitations to your staff in order for them to set up their Talking Points account. And even if you're linking with Clever Classlink, sending these email invitations can be a good idea since some of your staff may not yet know that they have access to Talking Points. So to do so, you have two options. If you're ready to go ahead and invite everyone, you can click on this invite all option up here in the top corner and send those invitations to your entire staff list. If you want to go for more of a slow rollout and maybe just want to send an invitation to a couple of your staff members, you can do so by clicking on the status icon here where it says not invited yet. And then that'll bring up an option to send the email invitation to only this one particular person. Once you've sent it, you'll see that that turns into pending invite accept. So they'll have to then go into their emails, the email that is listed here, and accept the invitation to get into talking points. Once they've logged in, that will turn into a green OK, showing you that they have gone ahead and logged into their talking points accounts. Another thing to keep in mind is that some of your staff may be coming in from your student information system and some of them you may have added manually or you may want to add them manually. To do so, you'll click up here on the invite staff button. You'll enter their first name, their last name, and their email. And then you can select what permission you want them to have. The school administrator permission will be the same permission that you have, which will let them manage all data and view all communication, as well as sending messages on behalf of the school. So we try to recommend that this list be kept small and tight so that you can know who has access to everything and not give anyone access to information that they maybe should not have. The teacher permission will assign them to any classes and still allow them to use talking points, but they can only send messages to the particular classes that they are assigned to. In this case, I want to add Mr. Joe Gonzalez as a teacher, and I'm going to go ahead and invite him. If you've added staff manually on your own, you can then go and see which staff are coming in from your student information system and which are being added manually by clicking on this source option. So it'll tell you if they're coming in from Clever or if they're added manually. Keeping in mind that any ones that are added manually here will need to be deleted from your account manually, as opposed to any ones who are coming in from Clever or your student information system. Once they're removed from your student information system, they'll automatically disappear. So the last thing I want to go over is how you can delete a staff member that you've added manually. So you can do so by locating their name in your menu, clicking on their name, and then clicking on this delete button up here. Again, to reiterate, any staff who have been added into the account manually will need to be deleted manually since they are not part of our nightly sync. 
So hopefully that taught you how you can manage your staff list and add any additional staff members who may need access to talking points so that they can communicate effectively with their families.